Hola mi gente bella, hello my beautiful people, it is I, Alejandra. I am back with another video for you. This makes it my fourth video. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out my three previous videos, go ahead and check those out. It would mean so much to me. How to choose your menu, your services, and how to price those bad boys. So if you are someone like me, to make bank right away, go ahead and grab your pen and paper because <laughs> this might help you out when it comes to your menu for the services and the pricing rule number one only do services that you are comfortable at good at and know that are going to benefit your client never perform a service that you're not comfortable with most likely a lot of the times when it comes to your services a lot of these services are going to include some type of modality uh, what is a modality that's going to be something like an electrical uh, machine or equipment or a chemical peel micro needling things like that there's so many different types of modalities that are out there so make sure that you are checking out your rules and regulations for your state and make sure that you are performing these services under your scope of practice uh, we got taught at school high frequency galvanic microdermabrasion chemical peels so those were the top four that i got uh, to choose from when i first started and i'm gonna go ahead and find out which modalities you're more comfortable which more speak to you which you see that are going to bring more value for your clients um and then once you're ready to establish that, go ahead and research a few machines. You can, you can go ahead and Google spa equipment, and then it's gonna give you a few websites that you can check out a few of them. Amazon is a, another great option for you to find a machine or equipment for your studio, for your spa. I actually found my machine at Amazon, and this is my bad boy. This was my first purchase that I did and have done. And so this was my first machine for those modalities that I mentioned that I learned at school. This is why I chose this one. It was because I already have, um, I was already taught a few of these, so I felt comfortable with most of them. And I also wanted to practice while I was in school. So this machine, you could do high frequency. It does galvanic, it does the spray, and then the vacuum. And you can actually attach this thing to your microdermabrasion tips. So you can buy microdermabrasion tips anywhere on Amazon too and attach it to this guy and I believe this was about three to four hundred dollars so it wasn't super expensive it was right within my budget and it's been treating me good so far the, the warranty is super great too I've broken like two or three pieces and it's been a, less than a year um, so they were able to replace them for me so hey can't go wrong with and actually from that machine i only use like microdermabrasion and high frequency that's the two common ones that i mainly use so that's gonna kind of also help you figure out what's going to be best for your services and what kind of services you want to offer it's kind of get an idea of what kind of your clients are asking for i know a lot of my clients were asking for microdermabrasion you have your machine you got comfortable with some modalities you kind of have an idea what kind of services you can offer um so now you want to go ahead and Google a few spas, a few estheticians around your city, where you live, wherever you're performing your services, and check out what type of services they are offering, what is their prices, so that way you can get an idea of what is kind of like the competitive price. If you see that some of the prices are a little bit too high, that you're not willing to charge that for your client, I would say then still charge what they're charging, but maybe take off $5 or $10, whatever you feel comfortable with. Or also if you see them that they're offering a similar service and you're like ah I would, I, would th I think that would cost more then go ahead and charge it up baby put the price put what you're really Another worth. good way for you to find out what type of services you can offer is go to your uh, supplier whatever uh, brands you're using most of these brands have a protocol for their facials so find a, a few protocols that you enjoy doing or you have done already you really like and go ahead and create a service or a facial for that so there's so many different facials you can offer also you want to make sure that you're offering a little bit for everyone um, even if you're not super duper comfortable with like say acne hyperpigmentation we're taught that at school so it should be something that you should be at least familiar with um, that way clients can come and check you out and you can also see kind of where your expertise take you if you're mostly into hyperpigmentation clients and that's kind of going to be more your direction if you're more into acne clients and that's your direction right so keep that in mind and so also when it comes to your pricing you want to make sure that you're putting yourself in your client's shoes um ask yourself the question if i were the client and i saw the price 
Am I comfortable paying this? And your answer should be yes. Six out of 10, it should always be yes. Because if you're not selling, if you're not providing services that you fully don't love, that you fully don't believe in, then how are you genuinely going to be able to sell and perform these services for your client? Again, people will buy from people they love, they trust, and they see the passion behind it. So if you're not able to do what for your service, for your menu, then finally, but not last, Go ahead and put a big number, put that big monthly number. How much do you want to be making? Be realistic with yourself, please guys. This is very important. Be realistic with yourself. What is it that you really want to make? It's not being greedy. It's not saying, oh, I wanna make this, but uh, then people are gonna think that I'm this and that. Who cares? I want to be my first millionaire for my family. Do you think I care? Do you think a millionaire has time to wonder what the lamb has to say? No, oh, lions don't lose sleep over lambs, sheep, whatever you want to call them. We don't lose. Guys, put that big number up and go ahead and divide it by how many days are in a month, which is usually 30, and see how small it gets. If you were actually to do it in one day, then go ahead and kind of bring it in because nobody wants to work seven days a week right how many days do you want to work seven six five four who knows maybe you only want to work three so put that number in there and then you can go ahead and see okay so this is my quota that i have to meet per day how are these services going to bring in that number and then kind of divide it from there but if you don't sound greedy you don't sound selfish wanting more for yourself At the end of the day this is business people have to respect you people have to honor you um if you respect and honor yourself it should automatically happen so this was a short and quick video but i wanted to just get it out there for anyone that is getting started and wants to start their menu um, and doesn't know where to begin go ahead and check out my service menu to get an idea of kind of the services that i do offer um, and go from there so if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful go ahead and like and comment what you want to see go ahead and subscribe and uh, click on the notification so you know when i am uploading my next video until further notice me gente peace and love